Hi, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. A bit of break from radio for this one. We've got another little Reuben flashlight or torch, as we call them in the UK. This is the Reuben X3. It's been out about a year. It originally started out on Kickstarter and they called it the Owl because of the design of the um, torch. It looks a little bit like, like an owl. Very small, but fully functional. It's just a little bit bigger than the Reuben G5. This is my current favorite torch or flashlight. I use this pretty much uh, every day, but I think this one might become the new Fred favorite, mainly because it has something that no other flashlight I own has, and that is it has an LCD, which we'll look at when we get it on the bench. But it um, gives you additional information and it tells you which mode and which loom setting the flashlight or torch is set to, because quite often with these Ruben flashlights, I, I have to click all through the different modes to find out what level it's at. Fully functioned, of course, like all of the others. Let's just get it on the bench because it's really quite an interesting little device. The X3 comes in a variety of colors. I think there's something for everyone. One I particularly like the look of is one where the acrylic section here is in a luminous green and that lights up in the dark, which might be quite useful. We've got the black one here. It's, it's subdued, I think it's quite nice. And then you'll notice there's little, little blue LEDs there, just two of them that light up when the flashlight is working. Now there's two versions to go for. If you want just the basic version, it comes with a charging stand, which you connect to a USB-C supply that charges the uh, battery. Or you've got this um, slightly more expensive, I think it's about 20 or 25 pounds more, which this comes with a charging box, which has a 3000 mAh battery built into it. And also quite useful because you can use it as a power bank has a USB-C output and a switch there that you can turn on and charge, maybe you want to charge your mobile phone. One thing I do like about this box, other than the build quality of course, this is metal surround, very nicely made. Like all of the uh, Wuben products, they really are quite premium. But what I quite like about this is when we pop the flashlight in, it automatically charges and we've got the uh, black LCD display there, just telling us that we're charged, but you can use the flashlight whilst it's in the box. And it has this rather nice diffuser that comes down. So when we turn it on, and if we hold it down to turn it up, so it makes it quite a nice little uh, side light. Maybe if um, you want to read a book or something in bed, if you were camping or whatever. So yeah, quite a nice little clever feature. It's just these little things that they do just these little things that they do, I and mean, they didn't have to do that. They could, you could have just left it like this or just put a normal um, black lid on it, but so someone actually thought of that. I think that's quite a nice little feature. When you first get your flashlight, it arrives in a locked state, which is for safety reasons, really, in transit. A little bit confusing how you unlock it. I must admit, I struggled a little bit with this. Um, you have to press the button on the top there, and in the instructions it says you press that four times to unlock the torch. It's actually eight times. You, you have to press it four times to get into the lock mode, which is automatic, and then you have to press it an additional four times to unlock the torch. It, it honestly took me about 20 minutes to um, work that out. It, it is in the instructions, but it's not all that clear. Torch also comes with a magnetic base, very, very strong magnets here, which is very useful if you're gonna use it as a work light for putting it on, say, you know, the side of your bonnet of your car or something, or or anything really that's uh, metal. Just quite a nice little useful touch. I do like that. the design strategy of Reuben. They certainly think outside the box. Now when this flashlight arrived, I didn't think it came with a USB-C charge lead. Well, that didn't really bother me because I've got loads of those myself. But then we do get this rather nice chunky wrist lanyard with a detachable strap. And look at this, how cool is this? When you detach the strap, just pushing in these, there's your USB-C and also doubles up as a tape measure. <laughs> I mean, you've got to give it to them. Someone really does kind of like put some thought into it. But yeah, how, how cool is that? Again, never seen that. Another design feature, which is very clever, but you might miss it at first glance, is that the head of the flashlight swivels 180 degrees. It does say that on the torch itself. What you simply do is twist it this way. And it twists around and it stays illuminated the whole time. It goes all the way around and then you can use the flashlight as a conventional torch, if you like, tactical style. Also, it does make reading the LCD a little bit 
easier. Let's have a closer look at that LCD because I do think that is a unique feature of this particular torch. One little thing I find interesting, and I thought this was a, just a design feature, but it's actually not. It does have under the front of the radio here a copper inductive coil. So I'm assuming that is going to be for charging, same as you would charge your phone on a charging pad. It doesn't actually say in the instructions, but that's what that's looking. I'll see if I can test that before the end of the video. So have a closer look at the display. So the one feature that is completely unique to this uh, torch or flashlight is the LCD display black on white there. It looks a little bit fuzzy on the camera, but in actual fact, in real life, it is pin sharp. I think it's a great feature because quite often with these torches where you adjust the loom setting, you quite often forget where you are. But with this, it's very easy. If I hold down this uh, button here, there we go, 50 looms, and it just says there 50 LM and also LV2, so level two. And likewise, up to its uh, maximum brightness below turbo mode 150. And then back to level one again. So yeah, really, really like that feature. And another thing is that blue LED that lights up on the side of the flashlight. I don't know. I mean, you don't need it, do you? But it, it just looks pretty cool. <laughs> I just like the look of it. Um, or maybe I'm a sucker for gadgets, but yeah, it does look really, really nice. When it comes to operating the torch, obviously there is only one button, so it's multi-press. A little bit of a learning curve, I guess, like most of these Ruben torches. So first press puts it into low brightness mode. That is one lumen, says on the display there. I mean, it's good enough. It, you can find your car keys with it. It's not exactly gonna light up your uh, your garden. Then to increase the power, you simply hold down the button and then we go up to 50 lumens. This is more usable power. I'm probably, you're probably going to be using this most, most of all, I would have thought. It's not over bright, but it uh, certainly has enough power to see by it. And then finally, if you hold the button down again, we jump up to 150 lumens. Quite bright this, certainly if you get it in the eyes. Yeah, 150 decent amount of light output for a very small flashlight and then on any of those three settings we have turbo mode if we really want to go to the 700 lumen turbo mode and to do that you simply double press the button quickly two times and there we go 700 lumens turbo mode again this is crazy bright really you can see my camera dimming down its sensor and certainly a lot of a uh, lot of brightness here. Obviously, it's going to cut your battery life down if you keep it on 700 for a long time. But uh, yeah, quite impressive for such a small device. Now then, this little flashlight has an extra trick up its sleeve. All of this time, we've been using the what right LED here, which is a white LED. We have one on the left. This is a red. LED. To activate that we simply hold down the button when the torch is in off mode and we get a one lumen red LED. Why do you want a red LED you might ask? Well let me tell you when I used to do astronomy telescopes and whatnot at night time last thing you want to do is ruin your night vision the sensitivity of your eye so if you have a red light and it's quite dim like this it will not affect your night vision. So you can carry on with your hobby outside unaffected. Very, very useful for that. If you want to increase the brightness, just hold the button down. It goes up to 80 lumens. Quite bright, that. I'm going to say that's probably a little bit too bright, <laughs> too bright for astronomy. But again, it would probably help you see, see along a pathway or something if you were watching wildlife at night or whatever. So yeah, quite bright. It's only red, though. It's not a multi-coloured light. Hold down the button. Switches it back to one, switch it off. Very useful. Conclusions then, what do we think this little Ruben torch? When I took this on the road and tested it out, I've recently been on holiday at a little cottage in the, in the woods, miles from anywhere. And uh, I used the little red light, this one here, this very dim little red light. I used this to make little trips to the toilet <laughs> out of the bedroom. And I, and I didn't wake up Mrs. Fred because it's very, very dim. So that's quite useful. It's a novel little flashlight. I mean, 
I don't know whether you're into flashlights or you're not into flashlights, it doesn't really, really matter. I do like the LCD on top of it, the black display, telling you which mode you're in. I think that's quite helpful. And also the inductive charging pad. I think that's a very modern idea. And when I was on holiday, I was just leaving it on my phone charger whilst I wasn't charging my phone. And it was charging up to full power. So I had full power all the time. They do, you know, think outside the box. I also like the fact that you can get this charging base or this charging box, which again turns it into a little bedside reading light, if you like. Pretty useful if you're going, uh, if you're going camping. And if you don't want that, you can, it's a little bit cheaper if you don't want this, and you can buy it just with the charging, charging base. So yeah, very, uh, very clever, very clever little torch. If you're interested in this, there is a link in the description if you want to go away and check out the Ruben website. I mean, you don't have to look at this one. They do, they do other models as well. I still like the little G5. This one is still a little favourite of mine. So, uh, so small. Anyway, as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to Fred in the Shed. I do appreciate your view time. Stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Fred's in the Shed where the magic unfolds Fred in the shed With his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely On a frequency